testing. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, we'll just, you keep playing. hip width apart. Spread your toes. Bring your hands to your hearts. Take a breath here. And just let your hands come up. Hook your thumbs. With your inhale, take your hands up. Let your gaze come up. Look up. Exhale. Reach out. Watch that V. Watch that pyramid between your thumbs. Exhale. Come on over. Hang over. Look back between your legs. Inhale, hook your thumbs, watch the V, watch the mountain, come on up, look up. Exhale, let your hands float down to your heart. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right, that's the first part of our sun salutes. Today, we're going to do Spanish sun salutes. When I was in Spain, everywhere I went, this is how they did their sun salutes. So we're going to salute that beautiful sun today. Our planet is tilting now towards the sun. Bring your hands to your inner sun, not your hearts. Hook your thumbs. Inhale, come up. Look up. Exhale, reach out. Watch the knee, come on down to the earth, drop your gaze, look back. We're going to step back with our right foot, step back, come into a low lunge. You're going to come into a low lunge like a low rider. So there's just a little bit of a shimmy up and down like the low rider. Up and down. You're somehow greasing the chassis. I don't really understand. But here you go. Up and down. A few times. Now we're going to drop our back knee down to the earth. Bring your hands to your left knee. Inhale and lift your heart. Exhale, your hands down to the earth. Step back with that foot and just hover over the earth like a spaceship. With your exhale, drop your knees. Bend your elbows, drop your chest. Like a worm, inhale, slither up. Like a snake, 
can just rest here on the earth. Come on down. You're in your devotional pose. Your arms are wide, your forehead's on the earth. And just rest here with Mother Earth. We start to pull ourselves up and we'll lightly step forward now. That same foot comes forward now, right foot forward, coming into a low lunge. Just reach back with your left heel. Come on up. And then we're going to lightly step up, step up. in the opposite direction now. Once again, inhale, look up, mini back bend at the back of your heart. Exhale, reach up. Come on down with your breath. Come on down, you're going to look now between your legs. Take your hands to the earth and lightly step back with your left foot. Left foot this time. Find that chassis where you're the low rider. You just pop. Find that low rider. Light, light, light. Then we're going to drop our back knee to the earth. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring your hands to the earth. Step back and hover, spaceship pose. Exhale, like a worm, bring your knees to the earth. Let your heart drop down. Inhale, pull yourself up. And back. And now rest here on the earth in devotional pose. Bhaktasana. Ah, deep devotional pose. Take a few deep breaths here. Look down into the heart of the mother. With your own heart. Begin to pull yourself forward. Step forward with your left foot. Reaching back with your right. Coming into that low lunge. Dropping your right knee and slowly coming up. Your hands rest. You're in a low lunge. Lift your heart. No strain. Exhale, let your hands come down. Come up on your toes, on your right foot, and then lightly come forward, hang over. Hook your palms, inhale, and come up. Hook up. This time, release your hands and let them come around you. Okay, how's everybody's heart today? Ah, let's just take our hands out from our hearts. Exhale, let's go down into the 
press flat. Inhale, come up, turn your toes in, radiate out. Five directions, five pointed star. Move your fingers, move your fingers, keep them moving, activate your heart energy. This is the channel. All right, falling stars, keep your fingers moving, keep them moving. Come on down, come on down, you touch the water, hiss. Inhale and come up, keep your fingers moving. Keep them moving. Activate. Activate your heart channel. Move your fingers. Move your fingers. Turn your toes out with your exhale. Let your arms come down. Radiate out. This time. We're going to be a very fierce goddess. So when we come down, we're going to go. I know it's early in the class to get fierce, but it is the time. Open your eyes really wide. Look up at your third eye center. Let me hear you go. Inhale, turn your toes in. Reach out, radiate out from your heart. Five points of energy. See if you can identify each of those five points. Radiate out. And begin to move your fingers and feel how that activates your heart. Move like leaves. Move your thumb too. Find all the orbs of air around you. Keep your fingers moving. Keep them moving. And then come back into that five-pointed star. Reach out with your exhale. Keep your fingers moving. Keep them moving. Come on now. When you touch the water, kiss. Inhale and come up. Fingers moving, activate your heart. Feel those five lines of energy. With your exhale, turn your toes out. Be fierce. Do it for the earth. the horse. You are the horse now. Find a little orb of energy between your palms, about the size of a soccer ball. Stay connected to the earth. You're half human, half horse. We're going to roll this ball of energy over to the right as we roll the ball. Inhale, press into your left foot. Come on. Let's go again. Exhale over to the right. Press into your left foot. Come on. One more time. Exhale over. For a moment, let's come on up. Shake out. You're, you're all horse now. Just shake that up. And let's go deeply back into our horse with your exhale. Here we go. Feel the energy between your palms. 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 Feel the energy between your palms.
between them. With your exhale, roll over to the left. Inhale, roll that ball back. Exhale. Inhale up. One more time. Bring that ball of energy and just bring it to your heart. A little pulse. All right. Now, what if you were a cosmic cowpoke? Just a cosmic cow cowpoke. Can I find your brains? Find your brains. Let your wrist be relaxed. Let your right. You got the reins. Your right. Spine and elbows. Because the horse has the power of the universe. So when we connect, with the horse, there's no right or wrong way. But see if you can find that connection between you and the horse. The horse and the earth. Now let's see. Now drop the reins. Drop the reins. Then we're going to start to shift our weight. Place. The 
between your shoulder blades. Send it behind you to all the beings behind you. Joaquin, send it behind you, Joaquin. Now, send it diagonally from your heart. Send that energy. Mean it. And all your hands come down to your knees near your knees just pressing those knees down. drop your right shoulder in and come into howdy partner brothers howdy partner you're my partner no matter where you are inhale and come back up keep pushing your knees lightly back as you drop your left shoulder in Howdy, partner, I see you. I'm with you, partner, I still love you. Come on back. One more time, howdy. I see you. Come on back. Exhale, drop in. at your heart again connecting to your son Tavasana. Come on back. Tesla says that all the problems of the world can be solved with frequency, vibration energy and that is this energy here this powerful energy beating beneath your hand so bring one hand on top of the other and feel that energy that comes to us directly from the earth and it's activated with our horse energy our connection to the electricity of the earth the thunder and the horses have that connection. So when we are healing with frequency, vibration, energy, we connect to the horse. So a little mantra, a natural mantra. Natural mantras are often the ones that animals teach us. So I want you to find that Horse mantra that goes like this. You have to find it in your face because you're going to go. All right. Now. All right. Now, just a little. My grandson does this when he's being worse. He goes, and your lips get all thundery. Whew. All right. Now your ears are like a horse ears, so they're very alert and soft. And I want you to shake out your ears and shake out your mane. Whew. Softly like a horse. Now make a horse noise. 
Okay, just continue being a horse. So you got flies on your shoulders. Shake them off like a horse though. Shake off your shoulders. Shake off your elbows. They call those hocks on horses. Shake out your wrist. Like, but let your hooves be like fingers and be floppy. And just shake all that. Now shake out your big horse heart. Shake out, you've got a so horse sized heart. Shake it out. Oh. Nee! Call to your to your herd. Nee! Nee! Right, come on back. Now shake out all your horsey organs. You got a horse liver. You got horse kidneys. Shake them out. Shake out your horse bladder. Shake out your horse ACV colon. Shake out your descending horse colon. Shake out all your horns. Shake out your horse tail. Just your tail. Enthusiasmo, enthusiasmo with your tail. Shake out your hips. Out of your right leg. Left leg. Shake everything. Shake everything you got. Shake something else. Shake it some more. Shake it. Woo! Find something you got. Shake it. Woo! And. Oh, well, just slowly. Shake a little less. Shake a little less. Shaky medicine, this is powerful. Sufimus. Sufimus. All right. Let's get back on our horses. for a moment, coming into a prayer squat. If you don't got a prayer squat, you can sit on a rock. Just take a moment here in prayer squat. And then we're very happily going to come down to the earth. Like heroes. Heroes, pros. 
few deep breaths here. Bring your hands to your navel, to your power center here at your core. Bring your hands to the center. You can stay on your heels if you want. But your hands are here and at your center. Strength, sun. This is your shining yellow burst of energy, of will, of power here at your very core. You're the hero, the heroine here in this great journey with the guidance of the ancient ones, with the guidance of Great Yogi Tesla. This is our power. So we're going to do a sequence now to help us with this to cleanse out the old energy, the old stale energy, so that we can receive all the goodness of this time that's coming in. So whatever is stuck here, keeping you from shining, we're going to open this up with an ancient Thai yoga sequence. So you're going to take your toes now, and you're going to bend your toes so that you are on your toes, so that you are kneeling with your toes bent and resting your hips on your heels. Can you guys see that? Yes, okay. And our hands are at our hearts. I mean, sometimes this pose is called torture asana, but I would love it. Yeah. You're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna take your instep across your left foot. So you've got your feet Cross, your toes are relaxed now, and then we're going to drop our hips towards our heels. So you have one foot crossed over your other instep. And you come as far down as you can. If you're still up here, that's okay too. But if you can, you bring your hips to your heels and you take three breaths here into your heart. And you are opening up now your ascending colon. You're healing all the things trapped that you might have breathed in, eaten, taken in. Just release them. Let your foot soften wherever you feel the sensation. And then come on back up, and that can be a great moment. Come on back up. Ah. And then we'll cross the other end step over. So you'll take your left foot and cross it over so the top of your foot is on the bottom of your other foot they're crossed over and with your exhale you'll bring your hips towards your heels maybe you're sitting on your heels or maybe you're up a little bit but you're here and one side may feel very differently so take three deep breaths here into your descending colon into all that ah, you can just release now with your breath. Breathe into it. And then slowly release your hands. You're going to come release your feet. So once again, you're going to spread your toes. Your hips come towards your heels it's like you're opening up your entire digestive system. Opens up as you sit back on your heels and just feel like you're yawning the bottoms of your feet open and breathing. I'm going to release our hands and come down, dropping your hips towards your heels. As best you can, have support if you want it. You're going to take your fist and bring them together and bring them 
to your low belly. So they're coming in below your navel and your fist touch here at your low belly. With your exhale, you're gonna take your fist. So we're sitting back on our heels. With your exhale, you're gonna draw your fist back in and up. As you reach out with your heart, oh, your heart comes out over your legs. You're gonna let your forehead rest on that earth or on a block or a cushion. And you're gonna begin to knead the soft flesh there as though it were bread dough. So use the different parts of your knuckles, your fingers, your Breathing deeply and with your exhale, getting rid of whatever may have been trapped here. So you're kneading fresh dough, exhaling, using different parts of your kneading instrument, your knuckles, your thumb, your face. And then slowly begin to inhale and bring yourself up. Hold on up for just a moment. Just rest. Let's come up on our knees for a moment and roll at our wrist. Just letting our wrist be nice and juicy, rolling them out. I'm just up on my knees. I'm not standing. Maybe it looks like it because I'm so short, but I'm on my knees. And then we're going to come back down. So we're just kneeling back down. You're gonna take your hands a little bit wider apart this time. I'm up on my knees, but you're sitting down with your hips on your heels. You're gonna take your hands a little further apart this time and a little further up, but you're not over your ribs, soft where your hands are. So they're a little wider apart. With your exhale, you're gonna draw that flesh back and up as you reach your heart out. So you're kneeling, you're reaching your heart out over your knees. You bow down to the earth and you knead. You use your hands to softly knead all the flesh. Breathing deeply, exhaling. Let's just open up, especially open up your inner stretch up and down. Stretch your face. Everything, your fingers, the soles of your feet, everything just stretches out. Lightly on your finger pads. 
bow down to the earth, be humble. Sacred number three, press your shins into the earth. Take your arms out, rise up like a phoenix, rise up out of the ashes. They move through all those sacred junctures of energy and then bow down, be humble. And let's just slither on down to the earth, slither down. Come on down onto your belly, your elbows are on the earth. Your elbows are beneath your shoulders. Come on down like the Sphinx. So join me for a moment in the desert, in another ancient sacred land. You are now half lion, half human. Pretty good transition from human horse to human lion. Wag your tail in the desert. Just wag it back. You are a lion. Pull back on your paw, pick your paws, and pat your first. Pat your mama. Pat. center. Pull back on your paws and shine out through your heart. Breathe into your heart. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Stretch your gaze without strain. What are you seeing right now? Where are you? and bring your head back to center. And then we're just going to lie down on the earth. Stack your palms, one on top of the other. Bring your forehead to your stacked palms. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Press the insides of your feet into the earth. You're turned out like a crocodile, but you're a crocodile ballerina. Press the insides of your feet into the earth. Let your forehead rest on your stacked palms and breathe deeply like a crocodile. Feel your diaphragm rise and fall with the earth, with your breath. This is how we make the shift, the great shift that Tesla saw and felt here at the base of Tava, where the great shift begins with fires and floods. Now, to just breathe in, take in the frequency of Mother Earth with every breath, so that we make the shift in our parasympathetic state. We go there from 
fight or fright, we move to chill, the loving mother. She loves us so much. In and out, feel your diaphragm rise and fall. It's a long spine of the crocodile. You're breathing in all that the leaning from the tip of your tail to the top of your sit on or come on back down. So we're going to practice once again bringing that lion spirit in, that courage. So we're going to practice. We've already stretched our faces. Our faces really need to be stretched now or they they settle into masks sometimes mask of fear so we really want to have fluid faces so we're going to practice a version of lion's pose and we're going to practice roaring so that we roar with real intention i know that people have been gathering to howl every night this is the same kind of intention as that we are here we're alive we're courageous we're all part of this hoop this circle but we want to be careful when we roar that we don't roar so much that we we almost hurt ourselves or scare other beings or we are because that won't really help us get rid of the fear. So we want to roar someplace where our eyes are really wide, we're sticking out our tongue, we're looking at our third eye center. And when we roar, we are bouncing forward and going. So come on back, we'll do it together. Do it together. Take a deep lion's breath into your heart. Get ready. Pounce. So come on back like an animal. Come on back. Take a moment. Feel the courage. This variation particularly helps with that courage in the back of your heart, the hidden part, your hidden fears. So breathe now, bring that breath to the back of your heart. Lions, hurt the breath. Pounce forward on the turret. Stretch your eyes. Gonna press back now into Bhattasana. Hips come back towards our heels, our knees are wide. We're gonna bow our forehead down to the earth and look down into the heart of the earth. Just breathing here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Bhattasana devotion. 
feeling that the back of your heart now is open to that light streaming down, that electric light streaming down from the cosmos, from the sun to the back of your heart. Breathe it in. And then feeling the front of your heart connecting with the heart of the earth, the very core, the burning love, Ishmu Gane, the grandmother in all the traditions, the most powerful love of all the strong children, all the beings. Feel that connection streaming out from the front of your heart. And that electricity from the heart of the earth and that electricity from the heart of the sky meeting at your heart. The most powerful energy in the universe. Ask the mother for what you need. Ask the father for wisdom. Slowly and bring yourself onto all fours, just arching your spine, dropping your forehead, dropping your chin down. Drop your heart, look up at the sky, reach your teeth. Pull back on your hands and shine through your heart. Now hear, howl, howl, howl right now from your heart. Howl! moment and lie down here on the earth. Hug your knees in. Gently rock from side to side. Let your head move with the rock. Let your arms come down by your side. With your exhale, you're going to let your knees begin to drop to the right. Letting your left shoulder rest on the earth. If you need some support beneath your knees, beneath your shoulder. Let your knees drop more to the side. Where does your neck feel best? Looking up at the sky, over your knees, away from your knees, just coming into a deep twist, the shape of the lightning bolt. So lying in a twist on the earth. Knees one way, your shoulder resting. You can put a cushion beneath your shoulder if you need more support, but we're in a deep twist. Find that place in the center of the twist, your belly, and breathe into that place. Visualize the shape, the breath coming up through the shape. That healing energy of the earth. With your exhale, huh? You're letting go of the sludge. Letting it go. Huh? Jaw relaxes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Take another two 
two deep breaths in this pose. Inhale, let your knees come back in, come back to center. Oh, just notice where is center. Your arms come down by your sides. With your exhale, your knees drop the other way. Your hand, you rest on your knees, extra weight. See if it feels good for your neck. Still the shape of that five-pointed star. You're a spongy star lying here. And as you breathe in, you expand in all directions. As you inhale, that electricity of life. And as you exhale, you settle a little more deeply into the sea. Slowly take a deeper inhale and a deeper exhale. And then one more. Becoming aware of your body. Become aware of your breath. 
become aware of the space you are in. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Begin to move your fingers and your toes. There's your answer. I'm wiggling my fingers, I'm wiggling my toes. Begin to stretch through your whole body. I'm stretching through my whole body. And then bringing one knee in and then the other. Rock a little bit side to side. Rock on to your right side. Use your hands to slowly press yourself up like an animal. Bringing your hands to your heart. to bow down to this frequency, this vibration, this energy of love that's in your heart. Great inner son, your great teacher. There is a place in me that is just the same as that place in you. Thank you. 